Dandino now, let loose by Ryan Moore. And on the outside is Sun Tracer, who's right with Dandino. But it's Dandino, Dandino to win it. Hello, Christoph Brook, it's my name. This is Dandino. We're here at Bomboro Downs on the Mornington Peninsula. From a stud manager's point of view, Dandino is the ideal stallion. He's got a great temperament. He's good to work with in the breeding barn. Any of my staff can cover with this stallion. He's kind to the mares. His fertility is as good as I've ever worked with. His foals have inherited their father's temperament and his physique, so anyone can pick them out in the paddock quite readily. I'm hearing tremendous things from the trainers that have got some of his youngsters in work at the moment, his oldest of two. I'm hearing very good reports. I think the next 12 months will be extremely exciting for this study. It takes the lead, but Dan Dino immediately went to him, and Dan Dino said, what have you got? Secret number says, well, we'll find out, because Dan Dino's going for home early. Gets away on secret number, leads him by a length. Oh, he got tightened up there as Dan Dino laid in, and on the inside, Don Doremo fighting back, but Dan Dino by the 100 metres. Races a couple of lengths in front, and Dan Dino scores by two lengths. Oh, very important bombing photo for second. Maybe secret number from Don Doremo. Hi, I'm Doug Harrison, and I'm here with uh, my Dandino two-year-old that I bred. And really, I think he looks the spitting image of his father. The same little antics that he probably showed. I just hope he's as good as Dandino. But when Christoph from Bombora uh, told me about Dandino coming, that uh, I was very keen on him. You know, I thought he was a horse that showed great acceleration. I'm talking with Craig Williams over him. He was disappointed he didn't win the Caulfield Cup his first start over here. He said he had to go right around everything. Jet away still the leader for Mr. O'Karen. Mr. Mowat getting over their heels. Running on as Royal Descent Silent Achiever. Faulkner's coming down the outside. Jet away at the 150. He's in front of Dear Demi the inside and Faulkner. Faulkner swapping them out wide in the Caulfield Cup. Faulkner's raced up and grabbed them and Faulkner's got up to win from Dear Demi. Maybe Dandino third, it's a photo there with uh, Mr. O'Kieran. And, uh, you know, he ran well in that campaign. Then he rode him back overseas uh, in a gallop. And uh, he sent me the sky cam of it. He was sitting about three lengths off another horse. And when he pulled him to the outside, he just accelerated. And that's what I think he showed. And I believe in a stallion, that's what you really need to make that good classic horse. And that's where the money is and those type of horses. They've got to be able to sprint and sustain the run. And he showed that in his Craigley Stakes uh, run with Darren Weir. You know, I watched that, he was tailed off and then he made a quick run up to them. Then he had to make another run over the top of that and finished right on their heels. He's by Dan Silly, the leading son of Dane Hill in Europe. And uh, he's done very well over here in Australia. What I like about them, they've got a great temperament the way they do things. Um, I've got two in work at the moment. They're great movers. And uh, I think they've got a very bright future. And as I said, this fella, you know, you would think it was Dan Dino. So I just hope he's as good. I'm pleased with his development. As you can see, he's filled out and he's, he's a nice style of staying two year old. That's uh, going the right way for us. Does everything right and start to build things up with him and have a few gallops and potentially get into a jump out this preparation. But uh, we're really pleased with him. We reckon he's a good style of horse and obviously of his pedigree. We'd be looking for him in the spring and not later on as the races get further. But uh, really pleased with how he's progressing. Currently in our stable, we're fortunate to have a Dandino filly out of the Rubiton Midnight Miss. Well, there's a lot to like about this filly, but uh, I think what... Uh, does strike you uh, straight off when you see her that she, uh, type-wise, she resembles uh, Dandino uh, quite strikingly. If she was black, it would um, be a very, very strong resemblance. Uh, she's heading in the right direction, this filly. We've uh, we've given her a light prep. Uh, I was very, very happy with what she did. Um, very competitive in nature. Uh, very sensible. She, you know, she's... Uh, Handled herself very well. Uh, she was good under pressure. She uh, did everything right in the stable, and uh, we're certainly looking forward to uh, getting her back in and uh, and seeing what she can do next preparation. She's probably a filly that's going to keep 
getting better with age and uh, I don't doubt that uh, uh, with that she'll keep improving within herself but uh, I couldn't be happier with her at this point um, you know she's uh, done super in the stable certainly gives us the indication that she's probably going to be a mile plus filly and uh, and if she can be anything like a sire or uh, partly of uh, we're going to have a very exciting time with her. Paul Proiska as a Victorian trainer. Um, just talking a, a quick chat on uh, the Dan, Dan Dino filly that uh, I've had in my hands. Um, look for me a very professional uh, professional out, outfit. Probably one of the better two year olds I've fought going forward for next year. Um, lovely, tough, mentally sound uh, and uh, physically everything sort of he held together and uh, looks, looks quite promising. Um, to get it back and get the next uh, next prep into her is gonna be really exciting for me to, to put a girth back on her again. Got a lot of hope for her. Uh, I, I just love these tougher type horses that are mentally sound and switched off as well. You know, I think uh, going forward, they're, they're a breed I'll be chasing. Um, Although I only have one in my hands, uh, but uh, when you see good things out of a filly like that, you certainly uh, there's there's more uh, more in the breed. So uh, anyway, guys, look forward to uh, getting her to the races and uh, expecting good things. Just here with Dandy, a Dandy man. He's a, a son of Dan Dino in our stable. Uh, he's got a really good attitude towards his work. Uh, he, he eats well, uh, takes all the work that we give him, and just showing a, a real. Um, little bit of um, natural talent towards the staying um, sort of uh, you know he, he's taking that demeanor he, he eats well he's really relaxed in his work um, and as I said takes all the work that we give him um, and he, he's sort of got up and, and, and had a pop out of the barriers as a two-year-old so um, certainly been able to take a, a good work early on in his career and um, look forward to seeing what he can do this preparation Hi guys, um, I've been lucky enough to get one Dandino from ATB, she's a filly, um, she's in a second prep with us, um, the first prep she just came in for a bit of education and, and this time around she's going really well, we hope she'll trial in a fortnight, the um, thing we've seen with Dandinos is, uh, is she's been very consistent, she's a nice solid filly, um, she really enjoys her work, thrives on it and the deeper we get into the prep the better she's going. So. Um, she's a kind of horse that I wouldn't mind um, buying another Dandino or getting sent to Dandino because he was a very tough horse and uh, I think you know, the stallion's going to do well at sort of the mile and the mile plus market. Dandino's amongst the end, Dunedin is back there with him as they come around the turn, Faulkner's made ground, he's gone right to the outside and Seamoon is coming with him into the straight now and Red Cadeau and Simonon race up and go to the lead from Mount Athos down on the inside. They're followed by Fiorente starting to come home hard and then came Super Cool and Faulkner down the outside. Red Cado tackled by Fiorente. Mount Athos kicking back on the inside. It's Fiorente in front on the outside with Red Cado. Fiorente and Red Cado from Mount Athos. Fiorente just in front of Red Cado who's coming back. Fiorente by a neck. Oliver's lifting him. And Fiorente won the Melbourne Cup for Gay. Red Cado second, Mount Athos third. Simon on Red fourth and Dan Dino fifth. Dan Dino now let loose by Ryan Moore, and on the outside is Sun Tracer, who's right with Dan Dino, but it's Dan Dino, Dan Dino to win it from Sun Tracer. The Jar third code of conduct was fourth. Dan Dino, Ryan Moore for Australian thoroughbred Bloodstock and Marco Body, they've won it again.